Hey friends, what's up? It is your buddy Keith, and I am here live again in the control room at the world-famous Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in Southend-on-Sea, England, baby. I've got a very cool Taylor Koa guitar to share with you all today. This thing's been on my hit list for a very long time. It's got a very unique top and back. I uh, can't wait to show it to you, and yeah, we'll get right into it. If you're new to the channel, smash that like button, hit subscribe. It costs you not a darn thing, totally free. And come join nearly 10,000 friends and family you didn't even know you had. We hang out, we look at really cool guitars I get from all around the world each and every day, and uh, we drool over them and talk about them in the comment section. There we go. So, this, if we look down in here, is a Taylor K24E. All right, so the uh, 24 refers to the size, if I'm not mistaken. This is the Grand Auditorium model. The K is for Koa, and the E, uh, I believe, is for Acoustic Electric. This has the uh, expression system. This, that's Taylor's proprietary um, amplification, I guess, system, uh, Acoustic Electric system, whatever you want to call it. There's also a CE, which is a cutaway model, all right, um, those seem to be much more common. This is the first uh, non-cutaway one I've seen and also has just the most distinct koa pattern. You can see not only the very distinct wood grain here, but also the very epic flaming and figuring to this wood. All this kind of 3D holographic stuff. And as we go back and forth, you can see it almost looks animated. I mean, like, look right here. You see stuff, there's a pier, a pier. Look at that effect. That is so cool. And it looks even more intense in real life. It's over the whole guitar, the top, the sides, the booty, the back, all of it. Yes. And also the binding on it actually looks like it might have some sort of, I don't know if it's just like a natural koa that hasn't been dyed or if it's a ma mahogany, they usually like to use exotic little different woods when you see a difference like that. But it looks great. You've got an ebony fretboard and this beautiful vine inlay that goes all the way up the neck. Wooden truss rod cover, bell cover, beautiful. And again, just this beautiful flamed koa inlay with the Taylor logo. Yeah, I mean, really, really nice. Gold tuners, stunning, beautiful guitar. The case is lovely as well. You see it's got this nice kind of projection here. I'm not certain as to what the point of that is. Maybe other than to prevent super heavy things from being able to have like all of its weight directly on the case. It would force something to lean off to one side or another. I'm not sure. If you're a guitar case expert, feel free to chime in. The case, by the way, interestingly, is uh, Echo in Mexico, <laughs> made in Mexico. So we're seeing uh, really nice guitar cases made in um, more and more different locations as manufacturers look to cut costs and also improve their supply chain. So Gibson, for instance, uh, made all their cases in Canada. I think recently we've seen their cases, like their really nice new cases, being made in Mexico. I'm seeing that's a common theme. Uh, what else can we talk about before I show you the back on this guitar? Talking about the serial number. I learned this today. How do we date a, uh, a Taylor guitar? Well, the first digit is the beginning of the year. So we know this is in the 2010s to 2020 era. Then you have to go to the seventh digit, and that is the year. So the first is the decade, and on this one, so it's a six, so one six. Now, the date is, uh, if I remember correctly, hold on now, it is uh, 10, 11. So it'll be, the first digit is the one, so we know it's in the, the 2010s, the next Two is the month, so it's October, it's a 10. The next two is the day, it's the 11th. Um, am I getting that right? I think that's what it was, yeah. 
Uh, now I have to remember what the two is. Darn it. <laughs> I can't remember what the two is. And then the six is the year. And then 120 is the production number of, uh, of the day for everything that Taylor made in their factory, which is pretty wild that they have 120 instruments manufactured in a day. If you look at their early years, they didn't even make that many instruments in a year, folks. That's pretty wild. And I mean, the company, I think, started in 75. I was reading 75. They had no serial numbers. 76, they made a few. Um, 78, I think, is when... Uh, or 77, 78 is when they started to, to do, you know, a lot of... Uh, units not a lot but a lot more compared to the first year or two but you could tell it was definitely like a small mom and pop operation and it is inspiring to see uh, a brand go from just some guy in his workshop to you know from 1975 all the way now we're in 2016 for this particular model and they're making 120 different instruments a day that's pretty incredible all right now look at this top, that is out of this world, that's got to be the nicest Koa top I've ever seen. If you've seen a better one, you better send me a picture, I want to see it. So that's the top. Now, the big reveal, we're seeing some of the side action there, the back, whoopsh, man, how cool is that so again you get the streaks of this hawaiian koa very very intense but my god that is a flame back for the uh for the the record books that is just nuts and really nice kind of dark gradient around the edges i don't know if that's the way they dye it or if that's just the the part of the the tree and how it's cut and formed. I honestly don't know much about Hawaiian koa or koa other than that. Uh, as far as I know, it's only grown in Hawaii. It's the only place where you can get it. And it is an awesome, awesome tone wood. I love how they cap the neck heel with a little bit of wood. A lot of guitars, you see a little bit of ivory or faux ivory plastic. But um, yeah, beautiful details there. All flaming on the sides. And again, great wood grain. Nice variations in the color that just stand out and look incredible. This guitar is mint condition. There's not a scratch. There's not a chip or a ding I can find anywhere. I see some light, a couple of light, like really small marks in the lacquer. It looks like just from being handled. I thought I saw one. Eh, there's like a little kind of line right there that you could absolutely polish that out i'm not touching it this thing was babied um it's absolutely loved and cherished and i can't wait to make some music with it i am putting it up for sale on our website essexrecordingstudios.com go to the shop section if you want to know how to spell the site there's essex recording studios just add a .com to that that's how you spell it go to the for sale section you'll see it and you can check right out. The shop's uh, powered by Shopify, Stripe Payments. You can use credit card. You can do all sorts of stuff. And we'll get it out to you. It's also on Reverb.com. Our good buddies, Reverb.com. Man. This is such a beautiful instrument. I've seen lots of different koas. Uh, Taylor, I think, is kind of the reigning champion for cover guitars gibson does some custom shop ones once in a while that are quite cool um but yeah when i think of koa acoustics i think of taylor kind of what i think of any specialty wood i think of taylor they really like to experiment and get wild and crazy <laughs> Listen to that resonance. That is just beautiful. All right, guys. Well, 
I think you've got a great idea of what this looks like. You know where to find it if you want to buy it. EssexRecordingStudios.com or Reverb.com. Just type in Taylor Koa and you'll see it straight away. Or uh, K24E, you'll see that. If you want to record with it, well, that's why we have all this fancy equipment in here. It's for you guys. It ain't for me. And uh, yeah, just get in touch, book some time. You can play this guitar. You can play any guitar you want. We've got over 300 in here. All righty. Thanks for hanging out with me. I've got a lot more cool guitars coming up next. It's my first one ever. I love buying new brands that I've never had before. I've got a D Angelico. All right. So stay tuned and you'll get to see what's inside this case. It's brand spanking new. Looks brilliant. You're going to love it. All righty, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Make sure, again, you follow us on all the socials at Essex Recording Studios, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. And uh, definitely please subscribe here. We're 900 to go. 900 and we're going to hit 10,000 subs. Brilliant. I'll catch you all later.